Hey guys, this is your friend Ashish Janiani from MotivationalDiaries.com. As my promised you, every week we are back every week with some interesting people, some amazing people. And today again, I have somebody very, very special for you. मैं आपको बताता हूँ कि हम कैसे मिले and what is the story of this lady जिससे मैं आज आपका introduction कराने वाला हूँ. I was sitting at a coffee shop with a friend and मुझे लगा कि I know this person, right? You know that I love sales. So I thought that I know this person from one of the offices I train, and I just asked her that uh, do I know you? Now it can sound odd जब आप यू नो किसी को ऐसे अप्रोच करते हो do I know you? So her first reaction was that no 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 you don't know me. But then I let her know that who I was, uh, you know with a lot of respect. And then we had this beautiful conversation for one hour. It turned out to this special interview today because you never know who you meet in the field. Okay, so again if you are in sales, this is important. Important. But today's lesson is for health. It's for your fitness because of the journey that this woman has gone through. Okay, she weighed only three years back 130 kgs. दो चीजें उसकी लाइफ में हुई, which made her feel, which made her realize that she has to lose this weight. She has to take responsibility for her life and transform herself. And indeed, she did. Okay, you will see certain pictures of her. You will see me. You will see her sitting with me over here and doing this interview. And she has dropped. About I think if my if my calculations right about 56 kgs over a period of last two two and a half years she runs a fitness center now inspires people and I'm going to give you some of her introduction okay her name is Shivani Patel she is from Mumbai she's just like a common girl like you who is watching this or maybe somebody from your family and when she took responsibility for her life because of two incidents that happened she's been able to transform her body her mind and even conduct a business out of that all right that is what a decision can do for you and that is the reason we are doing this interview today so that we can get some value out of that for our lives all right especially fitness mind and body so this is who she is shivani patel is a licensed instructor now for functional training zumba zumbini a unique parent toddler program pound fit certified personal training program from ace which is american council of exercise and group fitness instructor from acsm which is american college of sports medicine she graduated from college with a degree in mass communication and further pursued a master's degree in public relations. She began her career in the corporate sector, working with Hollywood Studios as a president corporate communication. She left her corporate career to pursue her passion for fitness because of the story that I'm sharing with you and dance and is now vigorously involved in running her very own venture called Sculptis. Right? I'm going to tell you some of the clients that she works with besides her classes that she's conducted trainings with. L'Oreal, Google, L&T, IFB, Kellogg's, Inkgram, Nestle, Reliance, Metro, Funtech and DHL. All right. So without any more delays, please help me welcome Shivani Patel on our show today. So welcome Shivani on the show. Thank you so much for having us. Guys, she's taking some special time for us. She just come back from US last night, okay? And she's back to work and she's giving us this time for this interview. I talk about dedication and passion. Ki baat karta this is dedication and passion, right? So Shivani, first of all, thank you so much. And I want to know your journey from you. Yaad hai jab hum, uh, mile the coffee shop, pe, so you were sharing your journey. <laughs> I'd ask her, I've, I've shared that with them in the initial thing. That do I know you? Because I really thought that she's one of my clients or works at one of my clients' places. So tell me your journey of transformation from 132 now. Uh, what happened? What made you come here? And how has Sculpt Days happened? So I was 130 kgs by choice. I love eating. I'm a foodie. And uh, I was very comfortable with that weight. Everybody in my family is very fitness freak. My mm -hmm. own sister is a nutritionist. Oh, wow. And she used to always tell me, Shavani, you have to do portion control. And uh, she's always been maintaining her size and uh, loves being into, she's very, very fit. This, this is that what I want to say about her. And every time that she used to do portion control, I used to always have a bigger plate and I used to eat double the portion of what I'm supposed to be eating. Mm -hmm. And every time she used to tell me, I used to be like, it's okay. I'm very happy because uh, I have a cushion everywhere in my body. So in the case, if I fall, it, I'm never going to have any injury in my bone. That's used to be my funda. 
I have a background of uh, advertising and marketing and PR. Yes. So I used to work with the uh, uh, Motion Picture American Association. And I was very happy with the job, but working for two time zones, I wasn't able to maintain a health and fitness you regime. You were working in India? I was working in India for LA. For LA? Okay. Yeah. But did you, did you travel there also? No. Okay. That was my deal with the company that I never want to move to LA. Okay. I always wanted to work in India. Why was so, that? Uh, that's, that comes from my grandfather who is, who, who is a philanthropist and he always, uh, he studied, he's a triple PhD from Oxford and Cambridge University mm -hmm. and he came back to India because he always believed that wow. he, we need to make a difference he, for he's people a, he's a India. PhD yes. From Cambridge. Yes. To triple PhD. Wow. Yes, from Croft, Oxford and Cambridge. Wow, wow. So he studied there, he came back to India and he said that no, whatever I want to do is for my people, I don't want to serve there. That was his agenda and I grew up more with him than my dad who, who, who is totally opposite. He believes that most of the children should go to America and take their education and come back or probably live there for the rest of their life. That's what my sister did. And when he sent me there, I realized that I don't want to stay there. I think I'm more comfortable doing so, it. So, so the guy who has gone abroad, studied for three PhDs is like, no, we have. And he has and patents in his name. And the guy saying, go there. Yes. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> because even I've studied in the States, I would say like, come back. I mean, do whatever you want to learn. India is a great market right now. Absolutely. Yeah. And especially in terms of health and fitness, it is yes. a very oh, huge yes, market. Yes. So, um, so what happened? What made you change when you were so comfortable with that weight? Uh, there, there were two incidents that happened, well, three incidents in fact I would say. So there was a time when I used to get into a rickshaw and whenever it had to climb up, the rickshaw guy used to always tell me that you know why don't you get off the rickshaw because we are unable to climb up. And the moment we climb up you just sit back in. And I was like, I was very, I felt very very bad that every time he has to tell me this and that made me realize that oh my god I'm really oversized. Then um, second was when I, I used to go to a lot of clubs and I used to drink a lot back mm. then because of my profession and I used to have, have late night shifts most of the time so I used mm. to walk home late so I used to eat outside a lot. That time there was a man who came up to me and said up here you're very gorgeous and that made me realize oh my god like really up here he literally showed it to me like this up here you're gorgeous. He was drunk? No. He just, he just, he just he came just up to said, me and said, wow. up here, you're very gorgeous, Shabani. And I was like, okay, great. And then the third time when I went to a movie theater with my uh, family, I got stuck in a theater seat. And uh, they had to break it apart to get me out. And that day also, I go to my favorite place in Ghatkopar and I start eating street food. And I was like, okay, let me just eat from, I will start from tomorrow. And that tomorrow never came for a pretty long time till I decided to hire a trainer and uh, I think that's the best thing that happened into my life because he was the one who actually changed everything in my life. Every day I remember he used to come and wake me up and even if I used to walk for one minute on a treadmill and go back home, he still used to come. And I was like, why would you come for just one minute of workout? Name, Sanjay Surve. Sanjay Surve. We want to thank you, Sanjay Ji. Because yes. Thank you. Wherever you are, we, we have to thank you for watching this. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, every day he would come and he would be like, Shabani, get up, go work out. Karte. I was like, sir, you come every day. So, and every day, even after that, in that one minute of workout, also, he'll tell me all the names of the muscle groups. I was like, I don't want to know the names of the muscle groups. Who cares about the muscles? Just do the workout and let me go home. And still he would come the next day. So he continued doing this for two months and I realized that there has to be a discipline in the trainer to train the trainee also. Yes. It is very important to hire a trainer who makes your goal his goal and makes it happen for you. So true. That was very very important for me. With leaders, with managers, uh, anybody who has authority or has been given control to do things in any part, family, yeah. uh, even person relationships. Very much. So uh, I was like, sir, why would you do this to me every day and why these muscle groups and everything? He's like, you should know what muscles you're working on. I said, what muscles are we working on treadmill? It's like one day when you start doing the other weight machines, you should know which muscle group and which machine helps you in, in building those muscles. And I was like, all right, okay. And then third month, I felt bad that, you know, he's so persistent. He's making it happen for me. He's coming every day, making sure that I take the training. And that made me realize that at least for him, I will go to the gym.
so just for him i started going to the gym because i felt sorry for him wow and then wow, started right? <laughs> it did you exercise yes like very much and then uh, when he started training me and i started taking his training seriously i started coming home early i decided to sleep well i decided to cut out on my late nights and all of that i decided to start changing or bringing up a change in my lifestyle that was the first thing that happened because of my trainer it was never about fat loss it was never about weight loss i didn't even care about that wow. it was about changing my lifestyle for this man who is putting so much efforts into me and then after 3 months i saw a difference and i i lost about 10 kgs and i was very happy because everybody started telling me you know how when an opposite gender tells you oh you're looking thin you're looking better now it always yes, triggers it always motivates you to do it better now So that's when you know one fine day my trainer tells me you know you'll become a fitness instructor. I was like I'm not going to train people like this home to home and doing all of this. Who'll train all all these people and you know they don't care about fat loss and I don't have so much of patience like you. And I'm not going to be persistent and being behind people. And trust me today I'm exactly like him. I'll tell each of my client about muscle groups. Why will they help? Why you should be doing the functionality of the workout. including i'm i'm even persistent the way he was in fact i'm even persistent about following about the, the diets now that i was in us all these 10 days i have messaged each and every client about their diet and whatever they have been eating and following up with them wow. even when wow. it, we had a time zone wow. difference i made sure that the ones who were not following i called them and i literally told them that if you do this you're going to be lagging be- behind Where, wherever your why is you never going to get there wow so that is what my trainer did for me and i realized what is an importance of being a trainer and a trainer wow you if you are certified you are a trainer but how you use it in your day to day life and how you make sure that each of your client reaches their goal is much more important that is what i've learned from sanjay sorve so we 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 reach what weight over a period of time uh over the period of time i've lost 60 kg in 3 60 years now, 60 60 wow. yeah wow that's amazing so i want to come to the next question because this is what i have in my mind so it's actually three scenarios i shared with you there were two i didn't know the third one which was uh, <laughs> somebody telling her at a club right uh, but but see these are the these are the things i think i think uh, you know it's like god or universe you know you call it that there is something that comes yeah everybody gets a second. calling <laughs> and then you get a call, and it it will be just an instant. A lama hota hai, a instant hota hai that something will happen, and it can define your life. And these were those instances. Tell me about the mind and body, not just as an instructor. A lot of common people are watching this video. As a person who was going through that weight loss, the amount of effort it took in your mind, because I know it is very difficult, especially when you are on a program to lose weight, even versus gaining weight. You know, yeah. gaining weight you can be motivated that after gain weight, but to lose weight when you are in that state of mind, tell me the journey of the mind, and then a little bit more about body, and then I want to know about your company. So, okay. so tell me, tell me about the journey, like the mind journey. Okay. So I I realized through this journey that there are phases that I wanted to give up. That I was depressed as well. I had my own personal reasons and I was depressed and I was going through that depression and I used to do binge eating because of depression. That also is a phase and there are times when you are tired of doing the same thing and following a regime. It is not easy. So there were times that I didn't want to do it. I felt like I don't want to do it anymore. I felt like giving up. But then today my mantra is move your mind and your body will follow because it's very important to make train your mind more than your body if your mind is motivated enough to bring you to a class or a gym then you're really going to work out if that is something that's not going to motivate you to go somewhere and do that workout then you're clearly not going to and there is no tomorrow if you keep saying i'll start from monday that monday is never going to come it's now and today and you just start doing it even after 22 hours of journey that i took i reached california and i was in the gym the next morning which is today man which i did when i went as well even so there. even today when i came back home i went for my power yoga class uh, you so, don't feel jet lag i do but for me that that's why that's I what i'm coming to can you make out she <laughs> jet lag i don't think so wow. <laughs> not <laughs> because that's the, that's exactly what i'm trying to say that it's about training your mind and not your body and that's exactly what got me to my power yoga class even if i have i i reached home at 3:30 i was up at 7 to go for my power yoga class 
because that is really really important is what i felt wow and i like that that's why mind is more important than body that's commitment now tell me one more thing on that i want them to know this do i have to be motivated to train my mind or i just tell it you have to do this motivation does not matter motivation only matters Okay, that's what motivation only only matters but, but how do i motivate my mind okay so there are three things that i have done in my life like every morning each of us have a habit to look look at yourself in the mirror so right on the mirror i have a post it that says 19% body fat tone body gym fitness sculpt days i have those five post its on my mirror so the moment i see my mirror i know that this is the focus of my life and the second thing that i do is i have a vision board where i have the images of the body of the kind of fitness level that i want to get to of boot camp and nehru institute of Mar- uh, mountaineering and cyclist those are the pictures that i have clicked and i have posted it on the door so the first thing when i wake up in the morning and th- the door is right in front of me so that's exactly what i see wow. is how i have motivated myself and i have a fat loss life book that i have created of the images of the things and uh, in what how much time i want to get there so i keep seeing that book every day i wake up i have that book with lot of pictures in it because when you think of anything you cannot imagine a spelling of the word but when it's if it's an image it's easy to imagine like if i think about rose i won't imagine a spelling in my mind if my eyes are closed i have the image we uh, we we just interviewed uh, a pack of UC mass one of my clients they work with uh, kids from 6 to 14 mm-hmm. and my sister has done the course uh, i told a uh, lot of people watching this go oh, check that video out it should be out already uh, about this thing that it's about pictures your mind remembers pictures it's not the words and pic- and when she's talking about she has everything with the mind in pictures or in front of her that is why she's able to be motivated yeah, yeah. to do that and i want to combine what you said and what i say uh, that see motivation does not matter for the fact that you have to do something these are actions you take and the motivation happens Correct. because of these actions yeah yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. this is how you generate motivation and so my question is how do i get motivated by taking these actions you get motivated just by thinking about it you will not get motivated yeah yeah true by doing these things you get that motivation that's why when you watch a video you get motivated because you are taking an action on it same way take some personal action and use pictures that's yeah. amazing so tell me and like, also i would want to add something this is what i tell my clients also there are two things that i always ask them to define is their why i have my each and every clients why with you, me you take that i take that and i have a file the moment they they drift away from their goal i just click a picture of that of the why with the date and i send it across to them so that they get back to their goal And the second thing I do is I always ask them to keep an image of the DP on or wallpapers on their phone of the body that they are looking for forward to. Amazing. And I do the same thing. Amazing. So every time everybody has the habit of checking their phone. If you cannot have posters or you cannot create a fat loss life book or you cannot have images on vision board wallpaper. Have an image of the body that you want and it really really helps. And most of the time if that also fails, I tell them to take a picture of them in the mirror of their flaps or abs or whatever <laughs> and keep it as their dp and the moment they eat they are like shivani oh i felt like not eating because i saw the picture of my flaps man that is also something that really sure. really helps sure. pictures 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 yes amazing that's <laughs> so now two two last questions i have okay. one tell me about your company scout play so that people can know about it especially people in bombay or even around or what do you do uh, we are sitting in pawai in nilanandani uh, and in mumbai Uh, at the studio so tell me a little bit about what you do and then before leaving one tip and so ye video kon dekh raha hai yeah people from 15 years to 60 years old uh, there are college students uh, there are boys and girls there are working girls and working guys there are people with family just married uh, people who are separated uh, people who are divorced people who 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 been who spend their life with somebody they didn't want to <laughs> Okay, old people, young people, stressed people, not stressed people, happy people, unhappy people, all kinds of people. So one tip that you can give for them. But before that, tell me about your company. So Sculptures uh, was incepted in the year 2012. we are here since 5 years and offering uh, fitness classes across mumbai we have branches in vkc worli pavai uh, wadala and ghatkopar okay. and uh, three in pavai so we are offering classes like pilates pavai yoga um, 
Zumba, Strong by Zumba and a lot of strength training and functional training workout. And every time that I go to US, I take up a new training and then I come back here and I want to offer that because I really feel there's a lot of potential in this market but we are not with it. Still, we are lagging behind in terms of health and fitness. So we offer a lot of different kind of fitness trainings and what I believe is that everybody should be given a choice to choose between different kinds of fitness. You can't stick around with one and fitness is for everyone. Make a choice and you will stick to it is the mantra. True. Don't keep juggling with different kind of fitness formats of it's something good. that just because that other person is doing it, it works for them, probably it's not going to work for you. Everybody is different, everybody type is different. So go for different kinds of fitness classes. Give your body a variation every day so you're not bored. And then once you are interested in a particular format, stick to it and that's exactly what you is going to help you. identify the format. Yes, I do. Okay, great. And the best part about Sculptase is we have a weight enlistment program okay. where, you know, people who are looking at losing weight, suppose there are two people who are looking at yes. losing weight. So both of them, I would get them together. They work out together. They remind each other uh, that, you know, hey, you have to come for class today. And hey, okay. what's your fat loss? So it's more about the, the kind of partner that you're working out exactly. with. So they are watching over each other in terms of their weight loss goals. So mm -hmm. even if I'm not around or if I'm not pushing them enough, they individually do that for each other. Yes. Also, I make sure that I am, you know, following up with them and they internally make sure that they come for the class in case the other partner and missed it. Helps. And that really helps. Right. Accountability, Accountability literally helps. Sometimes they don't like me to be accountable yes. because I'm, I'm sometimes a little uh, more rigid. Yes. So it's better that they have a partner who does that for them. Exactly. So the weight enlistment program is all about accountability, keeping your partner in check, and that includes your diet and exercise formats as well. That's amazing. That's fantastic. How do people get in touch with you if they want to inquire about your programs? Uh, through our website www.sculptase.com. We're going to show that for you and any email uh, ID that we can use. Yeah, it's all every all the information is on the website okay. and you can also there's a contact form that you can fill it in and we'll get the details. Done, done. Sounds good. So one tip Thank you so before much. we go, one tip before we go for everybody, I told you who's watching this video, right? One tip for them. Fitness is for everybody and you have to choose the format and you will stick around to it. That's very, very important. So stay fit. Thank you so much guys for watching this one. Thank you, Shivani. Thank you so much. Thanks okay. a lot. Take care.